Did you know one in every fourth person in the world has fatty liver? And in India, the numbers are far more alarming. One in every three Indians has fatty liver. Welcome everyone. We are here with a new episode of the Liver Show. And today we're going to talk about fatty liver with the experts from the Medanta's liver team. So doctors, welcome to the Liver Show. Thank you so much for being here. Dr. Chaudhary, I'm just going to dive right in because fatty liver has been in the conversation for a very long time now. It's been, it's come back into news of the last two, three years. People are getting more health conscious. Can you please tell us what the fatty liver is? Normal liver does not contain fat. Less than 5% of liver cell will have fat in normal liver. When fat is more than 5%, then it is called fatty liver. Okay. In alcoholics, it is alcoholic fatty liver. When alcohol is not significant, then it is called non-alcoholic fatty liver disease or nowadays we call it metabolic dysfunction associated okay. fatty liver disease. Okay. So how does this, how does this happen? Like how does fat enter the liver? In most of the patients, it starts with weight gain. Okay. We consume more calories and we do less exercise. So this extra calorie, it gets deposited in form of fat. Okay. This fat, it is released into blood and it affects several organs including liver so that is called fatty liver it in addition to obesity it also depends on lack of exercise genetics what we consume so it is multifactorial thing okay but in most of the patients it is associated with obesity so can you tell us the significance of fatty liver you told us what it means you told us how common it is but what really happens here some of the patients with fatty liver they will develop fibrosis cirrhosis and they can develop cancer in liver also that we call hepatocellular carcinoma in addition to liver related problems fatty liver also causes problems in other organs like these patients are prone for more heart attacks more coronary artery disease more kidney problems diabetes hypertension and some form of cancers so patients with fatty liver they are at higher risk of these other problems also in addition to liver related problems understood so dr saraf how do we prevent this then so cliched uh, as it may sound, prevention is better than cure. I think that doesn't fit anything better than a fatty liver, this saying. So it's all about prevention when we talk about fatty liver. So like uh, Dr. Narendra said, one of the leading causes of fatty liver is obesity. So obviously lifestyle modification is the core of preventing fatty liver. And by lifestyle modification, I mean a healthy balanced diet which would be a low carb, low fat, high protein, fruits, vegetables, and of course, a lot of uh, exercises. And so to prevent a fatty liver, generally what we recommend is 30 to 40 minutes of aerobics and maybe some weight exercises as well, at least five days a week. So maintaining a good, healthy lifestyle is the key to preventing fatty liver. And if I may add, uh, the causes of fatty liver some of the other causes of fatty liver are diabetes, uh, high blood pressure, high cholesterol. So if you treat these, if you keep your diabetes under control, you can prevent your fatty liver. How does one diagnose fatty liver? We spoke about what it is, what it could lead to, but how do we find out that we have fatty liver? Yeah, so fatty liver for most part is asymptomatic. You have no symptoms unless, you know, the fatty liver becomes advanced liver disease. So most of the times you find out that you have a fatty liver when you get a ultrasound done for some other reason. Okay. Let's say you have pain in the belly and you go to the doctor and he orders an ultrasound and then you find out that you have a fatty liver. So that's most of the patients coming to us get an ultrasound done for some other reason and they find out that they have a fatty liver. Thank you so much, sir. We hope our conversation on fatty liver was helpful. It certainly was helpful for me. We want you to be healthy always. The Liver Show will be back with another topic soon. Till then, please take good care of yourself and your loved ones.